Welcome everyone. Tactical marketing application in the digital economy is the premises of today's presentation. So let us define e-business. Remember, e-business is a powerful business environment that is created when we connect virtually any business system to the customers, to the employees, to the vendors, to the supply chain agent, the various business partners using intranets, e-commerce technology and collaborative application probably through web. So this is what e-business is all supposes to be. Communication on a virtual medium to customers, employees, vendors, in short, all the stakeholders via the use of e-commerce, internet technologies and collaborative application with web is what e-business is all about it. So successfully, if we have to develop e-business, we should be building reliable and scalable system. Remember scalable because we envision that the business is going to grow and grow multiple times. So we should have enough room and a headspace for us to scale up the business as far as digital economy is concerned, as far as electronic medium is concerned, and so on and so forth. So what do we should be talking about it in terms of security, in terms of collaboration, messaging, e-commerce payment, supply chain management, Salesforce, data warehousing and customer relationship. Now these are the parameters that comes around here. All the eight points, this should be viable to change and probably enlarge. We might enlarge upon the customer relations. We might enhance about the data warehousing, Salesforce. People might join us. The organization might grow. Supply chain management can become complex. A number of vendors might add in e-commerce payment in, through different mediums, different payment gateways, messaging as in to communicate with our partners and thereby is what we will be talking about it. Yes, and last but not the least would be all above the back end operation thereby e business has increased competition remember this thing what it has made the market a level playing field now every or corporation of any size be it big small or large can participate out here so it has increased competition made companies reconfigure their business created a critical new market altogether, market in the sense the customers who are present in the online fashion, exploded the distribution channel. Yes, this has enabled various vendors to service from n numbers of firms thereby. So it has exploded various distribution channel. In fact, we have a number of retailers who might be of uh, non-existent servicing client with a huge market. Imparting more powers to the customers is what it entails around it. Customers are flummoxed or flooded with data about information, about price, about specification and so on and so forth. That is what we are looking forward to. So that e-business has, it has increased competition, made companies reconfigure their business, created a critical new market, exploded the distribution channel and imparted more powers to the customers thereby. Main ideas of e-business is to start simple but grow fast. Build on what you have, absolutely what you have. You do not borrow, you do not beg, you do not steal. It is building on your core competencies thereby. So that is what we are looking about it. E-business is all about simplicity, all about transparency. Three generations of e-business, if I may say so, establish a static web presence on the web static in the sense there's a fixed flow of information that has been given disseminated to the audiences using front end with the back ends and benefits of automation and integration extended to the customer this is what we will be talking about here so benefits of automation and integration extended to the customers thereby what we say so now let us venture with the ideas of generations generations one was all about website all about having a catalog on the website and that was it all about it but now we have come with a front end and back end linkages as far as the inventory system are called about this is what generation 2 is all about it so linking the front end web front end as in the web store the virtual store with the back order management in terms of your inventory control so you have a real time access to understand what is available and what is not available enable customers to place and track orders directly remember the moment the payment has been made the customer is able to understand what is the shipment number what is the package number what is the available number 
and where it is moving from which warehouse from which facility from which location to all other different aspects that can be uh, monitored so vendor centric companies ability to automate internal process link them to the web of for the customers generation 3 is a company extending the benefits of automation and integration to the customers not only delivers information directly to the customers but also customizes services data delivery and orders to enable rich interactions among the system as the case might be companies should conduct business programmatically as the case might be companies has to conduct the business programmatically customer centric approach employs automation integrations and data delivery techniques to provide maximum competitive values to the external customer this is where customer becomes the king it is centric it is in and around the requirement of the customers that the companies will play to it so we are talking about automation we are talking about data integration we are talking about maximum competitive values to the external customers thereby so if you see from generation 1 with with a static website to generation 2 having a real time access of information in this in respect to the transportation in response to the inventory we are now moving to the generation 3 wherein it is all about customer centricity so we have moved everything and that is what e business models are all about it there are basically three types of market markets which are controlled by sellers buyers and natural market players which is perfect competition oligopoly controlled by sellers and controlled by buyers remember the word control is basically manipulated by sellers when i say manipulated it is the price which has been fixed by the sellers price fixed by the buyers so we are talking about the natural market there are three business marketplaces so sellers control market sets up a single vendor seeking many buyers main aim is to retain value retain power retain anything in the transaction as a case might be that is what we will be looking forward to set up the single vendor seeking many buyers to retain the values of the power in any transaction thereby buyer control market is to set up buy for one or more buyers main aim to shift values power in marketplace on a buyer side buyers intermediaries can also be there why because it acts as an agent this is buyer control things in the buyer control markets will have one or more buyers shift of the values and the power is on the buyer side i have already said controls means manipulated manipulated we are basically talking about fixation of prices so that is what we are talking here natural market is set up by third party intermediaries to match many buyers to many sellers perfect oligopoly matches buyers and sellers at an auction and it is always commission basis so choosing a marketplace model what is the right model for your business to operate upon is what depend upon the four factors they are are these their transaction or benefits to be realized is the electronic market for product developing quickly does the company have substantial market share or buying power this is one thing that needs to be understood and would a neutral intermediary be a beneficiary so if we can understand these four questions and answer it in a positive fashion probably it will help you to a certain which is the model that you should be pursuing about it so e business cycle four is four processes transform build run and leverage first and foremost thing is to transform your build business from probably the traditional brick and mortar store to a virtual medium then probably build up on a brand and things like that probably then you need to run and operate it smoothly wherein you can cut down your cost and then start leveraging your business as in your brand name as in your goodwill to the, which can be extended to the new market new business new brands new products and you say so so that is the four processes of e business cycle that comes around it let us understand each of the process one by one did i say about traditional business to a digital enabled business is what transformation is all about it so ability of the company to transform the core business processes and leverage reach and persuasiveness of the internet transforming from a brick and mortar or physical space to a digital space uh, altogether where to start the key to success lies in making e business priorities the priorities of business thereby let us understand the priorities one and what to do so transform extending the reach and capturing new markets probably best thing to do is to enable a website for e-commerce next is to improve customer relations through better better services start giving instant information to the customers 
own website thereby this is what we need to understand every now and then involves building transformation application this is transform build run and leave it is the second part is all about building building the transformation application fastest and effective way to build and extend the modernization of existing application develop probably the new applications new existing information which should be shifting statically from the graphic from the company owned to a vendor owned vendor managed to a customer centric activity as the case might be from transform to build build to run and lastly will be to leverage to understand the run is is running the business optimally running the business smoothly running the business without any hiccups without any error offer reliability to ensure trust provide security that provides confidence manageability to ensure performances since e business solution must grow quickly in multiple dimension scalability is of very important concern that comes around here the last step is the leverage this becomes an outside part of an organization becoming a customer centric leverage existing data for a greater understanding of customer as to what is the taste preferences habit uh, nuances of any particular customer what do customer buy and why do they buy when do they buy how do they buy use this information optimally to better suit the customer to better come up with a promotion to which the customer is supposedly supposed to succumb so leverage inside the organization let us have, we have already spoken about outside the organization within the organization leverage the experience the knowledge of an individual within the organizations to make a come complex work process to roll out a new product leverage existing knowledge and replicate the best persons across the organizations to improve innovations and responsiveness this is what we are looking forward to so let us understand the development steps involved in all major groups example intel intel involves in three major groups sales and marketing information technology process and logistic so we can have the first steps in development in terms of sales marketing information technology process and logistic as the case might be overall focus is international reach and focus easy fast access to all information deep customer knowledge effective customization secure transaction reliability reliable delivery and responsive customer support this is what we are looking forward to so yes we need to understand everything one at a time the overall focus should be on reach should be on speed should be on customer knowledge should be on customization security and delivery thereby so tasks performed by sales and marketing are application development security infrastructure and overall program management as the case might be this is what we will be looking forward to information technologies of project management system integration marketing and international focus process and logistic customer service corporate databases planning fulfilling is what we looking at in so yes i suppose a tasks performed by three department of sales marketing information technology and process and logistic what are the basic kernels what are the basic application what are the basic monetary aspect that monitoring monitoring aspect that needs to be uh, understood what is to be controlled so these are things that needs to be taken into consideration let us go by customer relationship management or crm so what does customer wants first should know your customer if you can if you do not know your customer you are not going to have a repeat business goal is to provide self service customization is better it is always better the customer can um, customize it towards his or her liking all together companies must ensure that the html or hypertext machine language is not the only tool deliver the data in the customer want let's say in, in terms of spreadsheet in terms of xml in terms of data in terms of document why data as the customer wants because customer will love to manipulate the data understand the data dissect the data towards their requirement so business needs loosely coupled architecture that let system interact without creating independency that is what we need to understand it it should be independent of each others there there should not be any sense of 
dependency on one another as the case might be where does companies customers want the customer could be the king using workstation or probably even cell phone for that matter you don't require a workstation or laptop or a desktop to work around it for the cell phone the company the customer can place the order the customer can understand the pricing company delivery system must be able to intelligently deal with the range of platforms and connections thereby what does the customer wants e business never sleeps so information is always needed customer needs information as soon as it become relevant example customer must know the price changes when it happens how it happens so e business will always be active customers will be always be informed it is on a need to know basis it is always available so communicating with the customers to increase sales and profit company must know which customers to communicate when to communicate e business must have insights to each customer and interaction purchase information that accumulates constantly actually that is what we are looking forward to it now <clears throat> let us understand to understand the requirement of the customers can we can as a customer uh select a questionnaire design a questionnaire and probably work upon it so how often does a customer respond to an email promotion let us understand or a website ad banner what are the return on investment what is the average length of time that each customer spends on a trans transaction can it be shortened can it be made much more easier at the same time the security is not been compromised how quickly does the transaction value increase for each customer and did i say a repeat customer will always like to purchase a higher order higher value order what is the average number of interactions before each customer's buys what are the top 10 most views by each customers product that they buy product that they don't even buy look forward towards it so prepare a questionnaire upon here and try to answer it and you will understand or gauge the mood of the customer thereby total insights combine product and transaction information with all customer information let's say purchase history non purchase interaction and wherein the customer just browsed on your website promotion history individual customer preferences demographic psychographic <clears throat> then is this will actually lead to a superior customer understanding remember superior customer understanding makes a much more business sense because that will give you a lot of volume personalization is be informative intensive helpful relevant reach customers reach customers wherever they want to be reached absolutely whatever you, they want to go around it give the laxity give the comfort give the trustworthiness to the customers and the customers will become a repeat customers to your company and believe me or not the repeat customers will always place higher value orders every time with this i come to an end of this presentation thank you for watching this video